The intensity was thick at Classics Park in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, as teams had fought through four days against the best of the best on the East Coast to have a shot at a Region 1 championship. In a battle of in-state rivals for the under-14 girls, match-fit Chelsea Colchesters of New Jersey edged PDA Clash of New Jersey 1-0 on a dramatic last-second goal. Match fit fell in last year's competition game and looked to be headed to overtime this year, but Lucia Sirocco got on the end of a loose ball in the box with time expiring and made the most of the opportunity as the referee blew the final whistle on the ensuing kickoff. Um, today's game, it was kind of like a war because we're really big rivals with the other team. So I was a little nervous, but we got into like the swing of things and we worked hard out there. It's really nice to come back and win it all and go to nationals. Uh, we knew today it was going to be really, really tough. Girls have played like um, five games to get here, play our biggest rivals. Uh, it was a war, but it was just a matter of who was going to put that goal, and I think one goal was always going to win it, and we were fortunate enough right at the end to get it. Defending Region 1 champion, SAC United Premier of Maryland, knocked off PDA Slammers of New Jersey in last year's semifinals. But PDA returned the favor in the under-15 girls final this year with a 4-1 victory to move on to nationals. PDA's Natasha Cuyo scored two goals to take over as the top scorer of the competition. And Alexandra Weyrausch also netted twice in the win as Amani Dorsey got on the board for SAC. It was a rough week for defending champions, but under 16 girl Scorpions Elite of Massachusetts showed their medal for the second straight year as they were the only repeat champions after defeating Bethesda Freedom 94-95 of Maryland, one to nothing. An early goal from Samantha Alves not only set the tone for Scorpions, but held up as the game winner as they head back to nationals, hoping to capture the title after falling in the championship match in 2010. U.S. Youth Soccer National League participant FC Pennsylvania Strikers of Eastern Pennsylvania were disappointed in their one goal win in the opening game. You could see why as they rolled through the rest of the competition, culminating with a 4-0 victory over PDA Charge of New Jersey in today's Under-17 Girls Final. Strikers compiled 20 goals scored throughout the tournament with just three against and no team got within three goals of them after that first day. FC Stars of Massachusetts edge defending champion Syosset Sting 92 Elite of Eastern New York for a spot in the under 18 girls semis thanks to goal differential after a one-to-one -one draw in the qualifying round. And they took over as regional champs after beating Bethesda SC Dragons of Maryland two-to-one in the final today. Haley Brock and Emily Manogian each struck for FC Stars, while Melissa Downey tallied the lone goal for Bethesda. At the regional championship, everybody is just putting 150% in all the time. Um, you can play a team in a tournament in March and then play them again in the regional tournament and it'll be a completely different game. It's a hard five days if you're gonna, if you're gonna win it, if you're gonna get to the final. Um, five, you know, five games in five days. It you know, really depends on who you get in the draw. Uh, we, we thought we got a tough draw and we, we did well. Um, but it's about managing the game, it's about managing the players in regards to you know, what they do after the, uh, the games, the, the downtime, the rest, the ice baths. There's so much that comes into it. And um, at regionals too, it's just unpredictable. It's unpredictable. Like, there's been many, many upsets this weekend where teams have won that we really weren't expected to win. And that's the beauty of regionals, to be honest. That's why it's different than really any other showcase. Daphne Corbos led the under-19 girls PDA Tsunami from New Jersey to the Region 1 Championship with two goals in a 2-0 win over Vista Shockwave of Virginia. One team was going to play their final game together and the other would head to Phoenix for one last shot at a national title. And PDA capped off the club's four regional titles today with the win to play again for a national crown later this month.